this is a static Gatsby site, and it uses content that's stored in markdown files in the file system and that are in a repo under version control. Those files are compiled to, uh, at build time to build this page. Uh, I'm going to show you Tina CMS, which is this edit icon in the bottom left hand corner. Tina is just a JavaScript UI that sits along the site and gives you editing abilities. Um, and you can see real time changes as you edit. So if I flip over to the command line, get status, you'll see I just changed home.md. I can do things like uh, drag in an image, uh, re reorder these blocks and make pineapple the second most block here. And it's all reflected in real time and talking to the file system. So you should see the image here. Yeah, we have island.jpg as well as the home.md files. And I'll just show you what's happening to this markdown file as I edit. So uh, I'll float this left and float the markdown file right. If you look at the title field at the bottom here, real time changes, we'll change it back to super vacation land. And here we are right into the file system in real time. Uh, this is get back to content management and it opens up a whole world of possibilities. If you can imagine content editors doing uh, writing content on branches and committing to your repo, uh, making merge requests or even proving merge requests in a user friendly way. One thing we noticed when we were user, user testing Tina CMS is that when you're editing long form content like a blog post or documentation, being limited to that narrow sidebar isn't the best experience. So we're also, we also opened up the ability to drop in these editable regions on a page. So you can kind of get in page editing as well as uh, the, the auxiliary UI that you saw on the sidebar. And there you have it. Again, this is all right into the file system. Uh, using this in the cloud would commit to your repo. Um, I'm just running this locally. This is uh, Get Back Content Management with Tina CMS.